the government gave income tax exemption to startups with certain conditions last year for the purpose of carrying forward losses in respect of such startups with conditions con continuous holding of 51% of voting rights has been relaxed subject to the condition that holding of original promoters continues also the profit linked deduction available to startups for 3 years out of 5 years is now being changed to 3 years out of 7 years ट Uh, 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 the period of availment therefore it is not practical to remove mat at present however in order to allow companies to use mat credit in future i propose to allow a carry forward of mat for a period of 15 years instead of 10 years at present in my budget proposals of 2015 i had announced that i would bring down corporate rate of down to 25% gradually in budget 2016 i had announced a reduction by 1% in the case of those companies whose turnover was less than 5 crores in the same budget i had also announced that new manufacturing companies which do not avail any exemption could be charged only 25% medium and small enterprises occupy the bulk of economic activity and are also instrument in providing maximum employment to people जराफिटी in order to make msme companies more viable msme ke more viable hote hain to mitigate uh, to migrate to the company format i propose to reduce income tax for smaller companies with an annual turnover up to 50 crores to 25% 25 taka porjonto एमएसएमई कंपनी राय के 25 परसेंट कॉर्ड देवर व्यवस्था करा होती है। टैक्स कम किया जाएगा। तीस तक के इटक डी डेटा ऑफ असेसमेंट ईयर 30 परसेंट के टा 5 परसेंट कमाना होलो। There are 6.94 lakh companies filing returns, out of which 6.67 lakh companies fall in this category. Therefore, percentage wise, 96 percent of India's companies will get the benefit of this lower tax. एर मार्जो में टू tax interest receivable on actual receipts instead of accrual basis in respect of npa accounts actual of all non scheduled banks orthomonti aage ghoshona korechen also je accrual basis er poriborte actual basis e calculation er dike ebe to pay tax even when interest income is not realized considering the wide range of the lng as a fuel as well as a feedstock for petrochemical sector i propose to reduce the basic customs duty on lng from 5% to 2.5% in order to incentivize domestic value addition and promote 2.5% de kobiye da holo in propose to make changes in the custom and central excise duties in respect of certain items which are given in the annexure of my speech some of the problems addressed are addressing the issue of duty inversion there are promoting digital economy <coughs> there is a scheme of presumptive taxation for small and medium taxpayers whose turnover is up to rupees 2 crores 
At present, 8% of their turnover is counted as presumptive income. I propose to make this 6% in respect of a turnover which is received by non-cash means. 8% is 6% small and medium in the presumptive income tax comida holo. I propose to limit the cash expenditure allowable as deduction both for revenue as well as capital expenditure to 10,000 rupees. Similarly, the limit of cash donation which can be received by a charitable trust is being reduced from rupees 10,000 to 2,000. The special investigating team set up by the government for black money has suggested no transaction above 5 lakhs, above, I'm sorry, madam. The special investigative team set up by the government for black money has suggested that no transaction above rupees 3 lakhs should be permitted in cash. The government has decided to accept this suggestion. Nagod. Suitable amendment in the Income Tax Act is proposed in the finance bill for enforcing this uh, decision. To promote cashless transaction, I to exempt BCD excise duties, CV duty, SAD on mini asterized POS card readers and MPOS micro ATM standards for version 1.5.1 fingerprint readers, scanners and iris scanners. Simultaneously, I propose to exempt parts of components of manufacture for such devices so as to encourage the domestic uh, manufacturing uh, of these items. My next item, Madam, concerns all of us. <laughs> it deals with transparency in political funding. <laughs> India is the world's largest democracy. Political parties are essential ingredient of multi-party democracy. Even 70 years after independence, the country has not been able to evolve a transparent method of funding political parties, which is vital to the system of free independence. An attempt was made in the past by amending the provisions of Representation of People's Act, the Companies Act and the Income Tax Act to incentivize donations to individual partnership firms, HUF and companies to political parties. Both the donor and the donee were granted exemption from payment of tax if the accounts were transparently maintained and returns were filed with the competent authorities. Additionally, a list of donors who contributed more than rupees 2,000 to any party in cash or check was required to be maintained. Who donated 20,000 to any party in cash or check was to be maintained. The situation has only marginally improved since these provisions were brought into force. Political parties continue to receive most of their funds through anonymous donations, which are shown in cash. An effort therefore requires to be made to cleanse the system of political funding in India. Donors have also expressed reluctance in donating by check and other transparent methods as it would disclose their identity and entail adverse consequences. I therefore propose the following system as an effort to cleanse the system of funding of political parties. A, in accordance with the suggestion made by the Election Commission, the maximum amount of cash donation that a political party can receive will be 2,000 from any one source. The election commission and political parties will be entitled to receive B political parties will be entitled to receive donations by check or in the digital mode from their donors. C 